because I start and stop all my work when my lathe or the speed control of my lathe gave, gave up and I dismantled the motor end of the lathe and I will be replacing it with an uh, AC motor and uh, inverter driven speed controller. From here I've removed the box that included electronics in here. I will be using some of that still and the motor was placed in this position. I've taken that away and I, my plan is to build a new uh, support for the motor. It's going to come under this uh, frame itself so that uh, it will also pick it up some 30 mils or so and uh, I will once it arrives I will I will do do a new support for it. Here is some of the material that <laughs> actually came out of the lathe. So that's the support for the motor. <coughs> some pieces belt dryer that will be replaced with the standard SPZ drive. That's the motor. There's the broken speed controller itself. Some switches with a lot of wiring. Some safety switches. I will try to put as many of them back in place as possible. And then we have the transformer which was feeding the power and then the, the control panel. The only thing that I still want to keep are these. So I, I still want to show the RPM of the Late. This is the screen that will show it. So I will get the power supply for that, and then the the taco, the actual measurement of the RPM will be connecting there, which is still there in the in the lathe. So I'll be feeding just 220 here. And uh, the only thing I needed to figure out was what, what does, how do I get this powered up. And uh, there was a single wire that needs to be connected between the out slash L and J on this side. Then it feeds the power to, so that I get plus five out of the out of the power supply. First I want to raise the lathe a little so I'll be creating uh, those uh, razors on the, this end and on the other end as well it will also help keeping this uh, table clean which is at the moment it's quite tedious too because my hands barely fit between the table and the and the frame of the lathe.
going to move all the way to the other end, so it's easy for me to pick this this end up. Okay, you missed the cool part of lifting it up. It's so uh, damn heavy, even if it's so small. I had to get my son to help me. But now the bits are there. And I've already raised the other end as well. Ready for the ready for constructing the motor support. I now got the motor and, and it's an Italian Marelli Motori. And you can see that it's uh, quite a bit bigger than the old one. And I also got the Inverter for driving this because this is an AC motor, the old one was DC. The inverter is, uh, I can proudly say that it's a Finnish product, it's an ABB's inverter. I have done the new base for the motor and uh, the only remaining thing I have to do is to drill in the holes for the for getting it secured there and then some other finalizing then I also need to cut down the box that's that was in containing the old electronics and then I, I have to make a small extension for the guard that's behind the lathe because the motor is slightly longer and I want to make sure that the air flows fluently.
Okay, everything is now set up and I have put the correct parameter uh, for the motor into the inverter. So, and I had to switch the direction of rotation, but uh, otherwise it was no issue. So now it it actually runs. Pretty much control anything. Acceleration, deceleration. It's really cool, cool inverter. I have to say, I'm happy. Would you agree that it now looks a bit safer? I put all the old covers and everything in place. There will be a safety switch here still. And uh, the back cover is still missing because I need to paint it first. But otherwise, this is done. The old tachometer is still working, so if I run it, I can see the speed here. This is very handy. That's the only electronic remaining from the old old Chinese version. That's it, it's done. Thanks for watching.